lab walks you through writing pseudocode and using modules. Now, we're going to use this program for a couple labs. Here we have a, a retail, retail company that's trying to calculate county tax, state tax, and sales tax. Now in step one, we're going to create four variables. These four variables are going to be declared at the beginning and are going to store total sales, which is needed in order to ca calculate our state tax and our county tax. So here you're going to complete these steps where we declare all four. Now because we're dealing with decimals, the, these will be the real data types. And then we're going to create county tax. And this, this stores the county tax, so you'll write that as the purpose. State tax. And then we have one that's going to store those two together. And that's going to be called total tax. Now in step two, we're going, to we're going to declare the modules that we're going to use in this program. Now the first one is input data, and that's going to allow us to take in the, the variable that is needed, which is total sales. And in step three, we're going to write the whole pseudocode. So if we look below, what we have here is the start of what our modules are going to be called. And then here is our main, which is where all of our main calls are going to be ran. So we're going to have a couple modules in addition to input. We're going to have a module that will calc county and that will calculate the county tax variable. as 2% of the total sales. And then we'll have a module that will be called Calc State to calculate the state tax. Another module that will calculate the total. And then we'll have a, mod a module that will display our information. Now we, on this module, can call it output or print data or print tax. I think here we'll call it print tax. And that's all that we need to, these five modules will handle that. So here we'll declare our variables. So we're going to just take those from step one. So we have our five variables. And then here is where we're going to continue our calls. Now you'll notice that we have one call already for input data. So this call here, this call here relates to this entire module just going to highlight it so we can point it out, relates to this entire module here. So we call input data. Now your program will come down here and process. Now we are passing up here as an argument total sales. So down here we need to accept total sales in our parameter list. Now when we do this we put the data type real and we put it as a ref or a reference because in this module we need to retain the value of total sales. So that must be passed down. Now the second module here, Calc County, that is coded for us right here. Now in Calc County, we need total sales in order to calculate our county tax, so we pass that down. Total sales does not need to be a reference because it is not being changed, it's simply being used. However, county tax must be declared as a reference because that variable is being changed as total sales times 2%. Now here's the third module. You're going to write the module here. This is called our calc state module. And same rules apply. We need total sales in order to calculate our state tax and we need to pass state tax down. Now because state tax is being modified, we must leave that or declare that as a reference. So you'll write the code here to calculate state tax and then up here you'll do the call for state tax. Total tax will be calculated here. We call this calc total. And we have three variables that we need here. We need 
total tax, which has to be a reference because that's what we're, we are modifying. And then we need state tax and county tax, neither of which have to be a reference because they're simply being used. So you'll write your formula here. Now in this module, which we call print tax, we're going to code and pass all three variables down because we want to display them. Because none of these three variables are being modified. None of them have to be references. They just have to be passed down. And you'll write your call for that up here in main. So the overall flow is main calls modules. They come down, process, go back to main. Go to the next module, process, and back until the end of main is hit and the program is finished.